teachers. Week 23, plant parts. What we're going to do, you know, we have a little wait time here while we're waiting on our bean plants to sprout up. So I thought we'd learn the parts of the plants and put them on a little collage today on construction paper. So I'm going to be working in front of the camera a little bit, so I just want to show you what the finished product looks like. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with a piece of construction paper. I just picked blue because of the background, but you know how construction paper is. We don't have a packet of blue paper, so they're going to have to pick whatever. And I have brown, and all I did was tear it. I'll make my soil, and they can tear it however they want. So now we have soil, and I'm going to glue it down. And I know how kindergarten is with glue. They're probably going to go crazy, but that's just part of being in school. So, well, i got to put my stem down. I do have little uh, stems cut. I would suggest that they just cut the edge off of a piece of green and you know that green's going to go a long ways for a lot of people. So first I'm going to get my stem glued down. Then I'm going to glue my soil over the top and I'm going to line my edges up. And I know the kindergarten doesn't do this as perfect as we do. It's okay. So I've got my soil, my stem, and then I'm going to take my cupcake holder and I'm just going to tell them, you know, there's a, a circle right there in the middle. And this is just good cutting practice for them. I'm just going to cut me some petals on my flower to that circle. And I know they're not going to cut as good as I am. I've got a few more years on them. But it's good practice. So I'm going to get that petal cut. Then we're going to glue it down. I'm just going to put some glue on top of my, on the bottom here. And I know kindergarten's going to go wild with the glue. So now I've got the beginning of my flower right here. What I've done is I've made your kids a little template for their petals. They can lay on their green construction paper and trace around it. To save myself a little time, I just folded my paper over. And I'm just going to very quickly cut me out some petals like this. I don't think your kindergartners will know how to do that yet. But just for video time, I'm saving some time. So here's my another petal. And I'm going to kind of, I don't really want to glue them flat down, but you know, that's up to you kindergarten kids. I know they can't do everything like we do. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right there on the edge and stick them on the side of my flower. And there's no perfect petal. And I've got a flower with a stem, petals, petals on my flower's leaves stem and some dirt going for me. Just for fun, I took some tissue paper and I just rolled it in a ball. I'm going to stick me a glob of glue there. Instead of them spending all their time cutting out a sun, I'm just going to stick that sun there and it kind of makes a 3D sun. So now I got me a sun. Now this is, the, um, the next part might be hard for them, I'm not sure. I did check with a kindergarten teacher on this and they thought they were able to do this. I just took a bunch of this string and I just wadded it together and then I'm just going to cut it. The loops that I see, I don't know how your kindergartners are going to do with this. You know, there's no right or wrong here. It doesn't really matter. I'm just kind of trimming my little roots up so that they're kind of different and I'm just going to wad them. And I'm going to stick me a glob of glue here. And I'm going to stick it down. Now I'm trying to act like a kindergarten kid. I want to kind of spread them out a little. That's the good thing about this string and glue. It wouldn't take much to get stuck all over this paper. And that's really what roots look like. 
So in a matter of just a few minutes, I've got me a sun, I've got me a flower, I've got a stem, I've got my petal, my leaves, and I've got my roots. Now what I'd like to add is some water. Well, let's add our seeds first. I'm just going to put some glue here in the middle. I happen to have some sunflower seeds left over from another project. It could be lima beans. It could be anything as long as they know their seeds. So I'm just going to glue me some seeds in here so that they know that that flower also makes seeds. I'm also, I didn't do it on this one. I realized after I made this little diagram right here that they're going to go by that they actually put their seed right here, which is a good idea so that the kids kind of understand all this grew from a seed. So I'm going to put me a seed right there. So we're going to change this up just a bit. I wouldn't put it here. I'd put it right there. So now I have my little diagram. I'm going to add me some rain. <clears throat> I noticed that after my glue dried, I kind of have these dots on my paper of rain. So I'm just going to dot me some glue. Now I understand in kindergarten, you may have a lot of rain with the freedom of this glue. But you're just going to have to model this for them and walk around and check on them. As that dries and that glue runs down, it's going to look more like rain. Now I've also given you this little paper right here. And I went ahead and labeled them so that they could draw a line to their sun and write the word sun. Draw a line to their petals and write petals. Draw a line to their leaves and write leaves. Label their seed and their soil and their rain. And this will give us a little time for our bean seeds to come up. We can check on them. We won't have a lot of growth in just the seven days for them to be recording. But now we have the parts of a plant right here. Take these back to your room, hang them on your wall. I'd like to put some down outside the science lab. Thank you.